हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज महेश शिवलेकर एंड यू आर वाचिंग नेक्स्ट चैन मैस इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सर साइनाइट सितंबर 2022 प्रॉब्लम ऑफ रियल एनालिसिस क्वेश्चन इज इफ एन इक्वल टू एन प्लस वन अपॉन एन देन सिग्मा एन इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी माइनस वन पावर एन एन प्लस वन डिवाइड बाय एन फैक्टोरियल इज इक्वल टू हियर वी अगेन एन इक्वल टू एन प्लस वन अपॉन एन एन वी रिक्वायर्ड एन प्लस वन सो फॉर दैट वी रिप्लेस एन बाय एन प्लस वन देन वी हैव एन प्लस वन प्लस वन अपॉन एन प्लस वन नाउ सब शुड दैट वैल्यू इन द समेशन देन वी हैव सिग्मा एन इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी माइनस वन पावर एन एन प्लस वन प्लस वन अपॉन एन प्लस वन डिवाइड बाय एन फैक्टोरियल नाउ वी डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द डिनोमीटर देन वी आर एन प्लस वन डिवाइड बाय एन फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन अपॉन एन प्लस वन इंटू एन फैक्टोरियल मी फर्दर डिवाइड द डिनोमीटर देन वी आर एन अपॉन एन फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन अपॉन एन फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन अपॉन एन प्लस वन इंटू एन फैक्टोरियल इक्वल टू एन प्लस वन फैक्टोरियल देर फोर एन अपॉन एन फैक्टोरियल इक्वल टू वन अपॉन एन माइनस वन फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन अपॉन एन फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन अपॉन एन प्लस वन फैक्टोरियल Now we have three different sum: sigma n equal to one to infinity minus one power n divided by n minus one factorial plus sigma n equal to one to infinity minus one power n divided by n factorial plus sigma n equal to one to infinity minus one power n n plus one factorial. Now to find the value of this three sum, we recall series of e power x. e power x equal to sigma n equal to zero to infinity x power n divided by n factorial. If we take x equal to minus one, then we have e power minus one equal to sigma n equal to zero to infinity minus one power n divided by n factorial. Here first term is n equal to zero, so minus one power zero divided by zero factorial equal to one because zero factorial equal to one. If we put n equal to one, then we have minus one power one divided by one factorial, which will give plus one. Then third term will be plus one upon two factorial. Fourth term will be minus one upon three factorial. Continue. Then we want to find the values of these three sum. Just consider the second sum, sigma n equal to one to infinity minus one power n divided by n factorial. It is similar to the e power minus one, but This summation is start from zero, and the given summation is start from n equal to one. That means first term is missing for n equal to zero. So we add the first term and subtract the first term. That means first term is one. So we add first term and subtract the first term. So one plus sigma n equal to one to infinity minus one power n divided by n factorial minus one. This bracket represent this summation sigma n equal to zero to infinity minus one power n divided by n factorial. Minus one, so this is nothing but the e power minus one and minus one. So this sum has value e power minus one minus one. Now the second sum, sigma n equal to one to infinity minus one power n divided by n minus one factorial. So we try to convert into this form. So we replace n minus one by n. Therefore we have n factorial. And here n replaced by n plus one. Minus one power n plus one. So summation is now start from n equal to zero to infinity minus one power n plus one. So this is nothing but the minus one power n into minus. So this take out from this summation. Then we have minus sigma n equal to zero to infinity minus one power n divided by n factorial. And this is nothing but the e power minus one. So this has value minus e power minus one. Now we are going to find the last summation, which is sigma n equal to one to infinity minus one power n divided by n plus one factorial. So here n plus one replaced by n, so we have n factorial. Then n plus one equal to n, therefore n equal to n minus one. So we put n minus one minus one power n minus one. Now this summation is start from n equal to two to infinity. Minus one power n into minus. So this minus take out from this summation. Then we have minus sigma n equal to two to infinity minus one power n divided by n factorial. Here summation start from n equal to two to infinity. We require summation n equal to zero to infinity. 
so we add first two term for n equal to 0 and n equal to 1 so which is 1 minus 1 plus sigma n equal to 2 to infinity minus 1 power n divided by n factorial 1 minus 1 is 0 so it does not change the value of sum therefore we have minus sigma n equal to 0 to infinity now this bracket represents the summation n equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 power n divided by n factorial and this is nothing but the e power minus 1 so last third sum has value minus e power minus 1 and the required summation sigma n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 power n a n plus 1 upon n factorial is sum of these three values so if we add these three values minus e power minus 1 plus e power minus 1 minus 1 minus e power minus 1 then first two term cancelled and we have minus 1 e power minus 1. If I simplify, then we have minus times 1 plus 1 upon e. Therefore, minus times e plus 1 divided by e. So, this sum has value e plus 1 upon e. If you like the answer, then please press the like button. Thanks for watching. For more videos, like, share, subscribe, press the bell icon of next gen mess.